Hello and welcome. We are continuing with our reactions of alkenes where we are now looking at the reaction between alkenes with bromine and methanol. So here we have an alkene. Look at a double bond between carbon number 3 and number 4. And that's reacting with bromine and methanol. CH3OH. The net, the net result of this reaction is that you end up adding Br and OCH3 across the double bond. And that addition is anti. So I'll go ahead and erase the double bond here. And now I will add Br and OCH3 in anti fashion. And the OCH3 will add to that carbon number 3 while the Br will add to carbon number 4. And of course you also have the corresponding product where you have the OCH3 coming out instead of going in. OCH3 and now the Br is going away. Mechanism. The first step in this reaction is the double bond, which is electron rich, will attack one of the bromines, while at the same time the lone pair of electrons on bromine will attack the other carbon, so you end up with a cyclic compound, and at the same time you kick out a Br minus. So you end up with the Br adding from one side, but now you've used one of the lone pair of electrons on the Br, and therefore you have a formal positive charge, and that's called bromonium ion. And at the same time, you have a Br minus that was kicked out. Now looking at the bromonium ion intermediate, you will see that there are two possibilities for the next step where the alcohol, remember we are adding CH3OH, that's methanol, and oxygen has two electron pairs. That methanol can either add to carbon number four or to carbon number three. Now the question is, which position is favored? Now if you focus on the bromonium ion intermediate, the ring can open from carbon number three, so that means those electrons will flow to bromine with bromine at that position, but now that carbon number three will be positively charged and if you look at that carbon number three, it has one, two, and three. So that position looks like a tertiary carbocation. On the other hand, the ring opens from carbon number four. The electrons will flow to bromine. And again, you're going to have Br at that position. But now you break the bromine carbon number four bond. And you'll now have a positive charge on carbon number four. If you look at that carbocation, it has one and two alkyl groups, and therefore that secondary carbocation. Now we're basically comparing tertiary carbocation and secondary carbocation. Tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary carbocation, which is much more stable than primary carbocation. And the reason for that is that tertiary carbocation has three alkyl groups that contributes electron density towards the carbocation center and therefore helps stabilize the carbocation and it does that through hyperconjugation. Secondary carbocation has two alkyl groups so that's, that means less electrons are pushed towards the carbocation center and then of course primary carbocation has only one alkyl group and because of that tertiary carbocation is more stable. So that means that when you look at this cation, the tertiary-like carbocation center will be more positive. You have a stronger carbocation character, and therefore, the nucleophile, which in this case is the alcohol, methanol, will prefer to add to the tertiary position. And therefore, this path here is favored, and because of that, now you're going to end up with this product. Those electrons will flow to the bromine, and now... It becomes neutral, but now you end up adding the alcohol from the other side. So H, C, H3. And because you used one of the oxygen lone pair of electrons, 
then you're going to have a formal positive charge on oxygen. And then the last step in the mechanism is you're going to lose that hydrogen. So you're going to lose it as a proton and its electrons will flow back to oxygen to neutralize that positive charge. And therefore you say minus H plus. That's because you have solvent in the reaction mixture or you have some additional methanol that can deprotonate that intermediate. And therefore you end up with this product. And now oxygen has two electron pairs. You can see from this result that the net effect of addition of Br2 with methanol is you end up adding Br and CH3O across the double bond. So you end up adding the Br and the C, uh, OCH3 across the double bond. And that addition is anti, meaning that you end up with a trans product where one group goes in and the other one comes out. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please consider sub supporting the channel by subscribing.